Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now, I am actually filming this video before I filmed the video that you've watched before this one, if that makes any sense. So if there's some discrepancies, that's why. But I basically had this stuff stuck, like stocked up in my dressing room for such a long time and I need to get this video filmed and get this stuff filed away into my dressing room. So you have to bear with me on this. Um, but <laughs> it's the annual what I got for Christmas video. I love watching these. I love seeing what people got for Christmas. It also, I find it really inspiring for Christmas gifts for people next year as well. So whenever I watch someone else's, I'm always like taking notes and things like that. I kind of want to preface this with, um, as you know, I was a bit of a teary mess before Christmas. And usually if ever I'm sort of like that way, I, I kind of get a bit carried away at Christmas anyway. I love Christmas, we got married at Christmas and we definitely got a bit carried away, Ali and I, this year. And I think we just lost track of what we'd maybe been buying each other, but we did only have our presents pretty much to open on Christmas day anyway. So it made for a really enjoyable process and it was just so nice. We had our Christmas together. Ali did the best Christmas dinner ever. Oh my gosh. Um, and we just had the loveliest day. It was so nice because it was sort of like a sense of calm on Christmas Day, whereas we got to see Ali's um, parents the night before on Christmas Eve. We went to uh, Christmas carols and we watched the screening of the holiday um, at Soho Farmhouse, which was just fantastic. Um, and then the day after we saw more of Ali's family. Obviously my dad was kind of out of action. I then went and saw my family with Ali as well. And it was just, we saw friends and it was so nice to have that kind of calm on Christmas Day, it was something really different and we loved it, we really, really did. So anyway, I thought that I would get into my Christmas gifts with you that I received this year. Um, and in all honesty, I feel incredibly lucky. Um, some of these pieces I'm just, I'm, uh, I'm just over the moon with. I, I, I can't believe that I've managed to leave them in these boxes for this long as well because, um, yeah, <laughs> I just don't know because I just wanted to play with everything. So anyway, without further ado, let's get into the boxes. Okay, um, well, let's get into this one first. We've got a lovely box from Hermes. And I think I'm gonna move these little bits and pieces out of the way because it's gonna make it very useful. So I got lots of stuff from Hermes this year, which was really lovely, lots of little bits and pieces. And um, also lots of stuff from Highgrove. I've never been to Highgrove, but I just got this obsession you know what I'm like I obsess over things and so I got lots of things from high grove this year even our crackers were high grove and it was it was really really lovely so I'll show you all of the bits now lots of people sent this to me and I think I already kind of knew that this was under the tree but um just before Christmas this went online on uh the website i had been hunting this down and it went online so I'm guessing that um some people maybe sent it to Ali I'm not I'm not too sure but I finally got my hands on the black with gold hardware version of this belt. This is the MS CDC belt. As you know, I wear a lot of like the same belts, a lot of the same accessories, and it just works for me and my style. So introducing this into my collection was something I've been trying to do for a while. Um, I love the fact that these are so easily adjustable as well. And I love the fact that um, this is more of like the quiet luxury side of Hermes. So there's no branding on this. There's just kind of the design details that are known for Hermes. And I think that I've heard a lot about quiet luxury on TikTok and things like that. And I definitely think it's gonna be something that I lean even more into this year. I actually don't want anything with any branding on my belt buckle anymore. Maybe it'll change in the future, I don't know. But for the moment, these are the, the belts that I'm just obsessed with and I love and they go with everything. So I was very, very excited to unbox that um, and not wear it yet because <laughs> it's been in its box. The next one is actually a gift from Smithson of Bond Street. So they, they sent this to me and I saved it for Christmas day because this is my annual uh, diary, which I use every single year. It's the Soho diary. Um, this is the navy version and I actually got it monogrammed with my initials as well. I use this so, so much. I've learned a lot about my brain um, this last year and how it works to its optimum. And the way that this diary is laid out, it just works really well with the way that my brain is. I need to write everything down. I need to um, use it to retain information and to plan things. So it's kind of a bit of an everything diary for me. I also think it's incredibly beautiful, this kind of mock croc. Uh, finish is really lovely and what I want to see next year hopefully is like a really beautiful 
um, like burgundy merlot kind of colour. I would love that. Um, so that was from the actual Smyson team, which was very, very lovely of them to send, and I was very grateful for, because it's what I buy every year, so I was very, very happy to receive that. Next up, I'm not doing this in any order, by the way, so the belt was obviously from Ali. I'll try and remember to tell you who got me everything. Um, next up was a really, really special gift. Um, this is a gift from my fur nephew, Bolly, and when I opened this, I actually audibly gasped. gasped. <laughs> This is a, um, it came in a vintage Hermes box like that. And I honestly, I was like, oh my gosh, what is in here? It is the most beautiful double set of uh, playing cards that with the gilded edge as well. So these are really, really quite special. And these are probably the most beautiful playing cards I think I've ever seen. Um, just incredibly decorative, um, lots of foiling and uh, like gold foiling as well. And I was just obsessed with these from the moment that I unboxed them. So the fur nephew got some really, really good points this year. <laughs> Next up, this is from one of the girls in the office and these are some poetry books, which I'm really looking forward to working through. This is Maya Angelou and Still I Rise. I literally have like the best team of girls ever. They are so supportive. And then I have another book of poetry, which is The Hill We Climb, an inaugural poem by Amanda Gorman with the foreword from Oprah Winfrey. So very, very excited to get into those as well. Next up is from, I'm gonna have to run downstairs and get another one of Carrie's gifts as well because it, it's in a safe space. Next up is a pair of Cornelia James gloves, which are from Carrie, my best friend and manager. Um, these, this is a brand that I have been admiring and getting served endless, like, um, <laughs> endless ads for on Instagram. And I wanted to get myself some more beautiful gloves. This is a wonderful British brand with a royal warrant as well. And this is a beautiful kind of rich tan leather color. So, um, and also they are silk lined. Like I actually can't, I'm so scared to use these with my ring on, but they fit absolutely perfectly and they are just exquisite. So that was a wonderful gift from my best friend. And I think I'll definitely be purchasing more gloves from Cornelia James as well. They do like lots of different ones, not just leather ones, they do like cashmere and things like that. So um, that was a lovely, lovely, I'm trying to do this quickly as well. Next up is not actually in the box, but came in an orange box. And this was a gift for Porter and Barclay. This is the um, Hermes shampoo and conditioner, and this was from my friend Lauren. They have been using this endlessly, like Mr. Mill and Gordon now won't wash the dogs in anything other than Hermes. So um, she's definitely started a very, very expensive routine, <laughs> hygiene routine for the dogs. Um, but yes, that was such a lovely gift. And Porter, oh my gosh, at Christmas time, he was honestly like, he was, Nobody loves Christmas more than Porter. That has been like the saying of uh, Christmas. Nobody loves Christmas more than Porter. Next up, we have another orange box, which is very, very lovely. And this is a really funny thing. <sighs> very, very funny thing <laughs> in this box. So it's not a bag, it is not a bag, but the most bizarre thing so we um so I said to Ali that I wanted to get one of these this is the 25 like insert for your your like bag to protect it so you put this inside and I really wanted to get this because it's such an easy one to just take out and swap into other bags so um I, I could keep everything like important in here and then at the end of the day I can just quickly slot it out um and not worry that I've left anything important in my handbag I feel like this was putting something out into the into the universe as well as my Instagram post that I did because um, something happened. That's all I'm going to say for now, but something happened. <laughs> um, so yes, you can buy this online as well. This is just a really convenient way basically to organise your handbag, which um, I thought was really lovely. So that was under the tree as well. Next up is, <laughs> this was in my card. This is the Champagne Tea Tour for Highgrove. 
Um, I put this on my Christmas list because I really, really wanted to go and see the gardens. I kind of want to go and see the gardens every season, um, but this is for like high summer. Um, this was from Carrie and this was in my card and I'm so looking forward to this. You have no idea. Like just, oh, even just looking at the picture that's printed out. And what do you get with it? A champagne tea tour is an unforgettable way to experience Highgrove. Led by experienced guide, enjoy a one and a half hour tour of the Highgrove Gardens. From the other, from the otherworldly stumpery to the whim, whimsical time walk and the Chelsea award winning carpet garden, you'll see Highgrove as part of a small group. After your garden tour, indulge in a delicious afternoon tea in the elegant surroundings of the orchard room. Presented on a traditional tiered stand, refre refreshments include a selection of sandwiches, sweet treats and freshly baked scones, high grove champagne and tea or coffee. I am very, very excited. Very, very excited about that. Next up, we oh, I saved this one for you. This was a gift from the Holland Cooper team. I also got a candle as well. When I saw this scarf, I, it's just unbelievable. So if you are looking for like an equestrian themed scarf just to add to like your jumper dresses or anything like that, Holland Cooper have nailed this one the colors it's just it's perfect if you've got the oatmeal amazon cashmere dress this is the perfect addition to just add some subtle color when i show you this this is my favorite scarf that they've ever done hands down so it has lots of different like competition horses there's green and red there's navy navy and red lots of different kind of quite traditional colors then the beautiful holland cooper script and a navy um, trim to the scarf. This is 100% silk as well. Just, just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. If you love silk scarves in the same way that I do, then I think that this one is just, well, I was, I felt very, very lucky to, to receive this under the tree this year. So thank you very, very much to the Holland Cooper team. It has been so much fun, like working with them and just getting on with content it's been lovely next up was another gift from Highgrove this is the JJ textile um, throw from the Highgrove website but it had the most beautiful fern print on it and I just thought how lovely is that I'm a little bit obsessed with ferns so um, around about this time of year I start decorating my home with ferns and I thought this would be lovely for the sort of midwinter decor and things like that. It's super cozy, really kind of like heavyweight, and I just loved so much of the stuff on the High Grove website. It was really handy for um if you're in, if you know someone that's like into gardening or into nature, they have such lovely things on there. So I found a lot of the things that I added to my Christmas gift uh, list was from there. So I was very, very happy to see this under the tree. This was from um Ali's uh, dad and stepmom. This was a super, super thoughtful gift from my friend Lauren and actually works perfectly with the gift that Carrie got me as well. And this was something that I was actually looking at on um, the website as well. I didn't put it on my Christmas list, but Kindred Spirits. This is a gorgeous little glove clip. So I am a nightmare for losing gloves especially when I've got such lovely gloves now, I want to make sure that I'm looking after them. So this is the Kelly Lock uh, glove, sort of, what's it called? Um, glove clip. So it should mean that I don't lose my gloves anymore. And you can just add this, I think, to like a keychain or something like that. I'm not exactly sure. I need to read, read up about, I've never had a glove clip before, so I have to read up exactly how to use it. But yes, very, very beautiful in the black leather, with the gold hardware, I need to take all of the seals off still, but I'd left them on because I've um, not used anything. So that was from my friend, Lauren. Then I have some bits here from Ali. So every year, Ali gets me some sort of like tech bits and pieces as well. If I've been annoying him by stealing his uh, cables and things like that, he'll often passive aggressively buy me some. <laughs> so he's got me a load of super long charging cables and also some short ones as well with the supercharger like plugs. He's also got me the SD card, um, the lightning to SD card camera reader. So this means that from my beautiful 
what's it called, my beautiful Leica, I'm able to get the pictures directly from there and just plug my phone in. It's just so much easier than like connecting via Wi-Fi or anything like that. So some very practical um, gifts from Mr. Mill and Gordon there. Always coming through with the goods. And then he also got me another little throw from Highgrove. Now this is the official Prince of Wales Highgrove check, and this is 100% pure lamb's wool. I loved the fact that it had this um, big, beautiful emblem on there. And it also comes in a scarf with a beautiful kind of, um, it's like a sagey green, then with blue and a little bit of purple through there as well. So a little touch of color um, in there. And just, you can never have too many beautiful throws around your home or scarves in my opinion. And then we have my main present from Mr. Mill and Gordon as well. And you might actually just be able to faintly see it up there. Um, so I'll grab that. So I actually haven't even taken the tags off of this yet. So this is a antique Louis Vuitton. Um, it's a, I can never say it right, but it's a what? 20? I haven't even opened this, so there could be some interesting things in, in store inside here. Oh, wow. Oh, so I could use this as a vanity on my dressing table. I mean, I don't want, but I could. Wow. I didn't realise it had a mirror in it. So this came from Vestiaire Collective and I actually searched high and low for this particular trunk. I didn't want anything new, I wanted it to look as old and battered as possible. I really didn't care for it to be in perfect working condition or anything like that. This is just a piece that I kind of like look at and enjoy. I just love all of the old um, Louis Vuitton luggage so, so much. And for me, the older, the older, the more battered, the smellier, the better, in my opinion. And um, I loved the fact that all of the leather already had the patina and things like that. One thing I might try and do is just clean these up a little bit, just to bring a little bit more of the brassiness back. But that would be something that would be so much fun to do myself. The one thing I do want to do is um, go to this place that my friend Nick sent me, because there's like this, this place in London where it's just full of old Louis Vuitton trunks. And I want to go there and explore and see what they've got there. Um, but this is something I've honestly, like years, I've been hunting for this. And so it was very exciting to unbox this under the tree. I got very, very excited by this. And so now I'm just trying to think about how I'm going to dress it. I think one of the things I'll do is there's a, an old antique Louis Vuitton flower trunk. This is obviously not it, but I love the idea of putting little bud vases in here in spring or summer and having it open and all of the flowers just kind of like billowing out the top. I think that would be so beautiful. I know that's bizarre to use a trunk as um, essentially a vase, but it, I just think it will look so lovely on like the side or something like that. Just, just an idea that I had. Um, so yes, this was my main present and basically I'm just in love. <laughs> and then my main present from my best friend Carrie and her partner was, I don't know if you can see this very effectively, was a big, a, a big uh, gift of tears on Christmas day. <laughs> It would probably make me cry now. But this is obviously a very, very beautiful piece of art, which we're going to have framed and um, put up around the house. We've got Lumi, Lynx, Porty and Barkley. I actually cannot believe that is, all, that's like lifelike. I cannot believe how much that looks like him. I think it's very, very difficult to like capture the um, realistic characteristics of animals because essentially a lot of them are the same but actually when you know them you know their faces so much and like that that is Lynx. Um, so obviously Barkley is a puppy as well so his little puppy rolls oh my goodness <laughs> um, so yes that reduced me to absolute tears on Christmas day um, but in the best possible way so what I want to do is get that um, I want to get it framed in a really lovely um, probably mahogany or black American walnut frame. I've got a lot of things to get framed this year, so I'm hoping to go in the next couple of days. Um, we also received a wonderful hamper from Ali's mum and stepdad. There was like high growth biscuits in there. Sorry, that just did not last. Um, and then Ali's brother got us um, 
a like pizza dough kit for our new pizza oven which is going to be wonderful to try making our own dough we've been advised not to and to like actually just buy the dough but we're going to give it our best shot um lots of people got uh, which is one of the things i always say if in doubt just get me um a bottle of your favorite wine and i think i'm going to step that up this year and say get me a bottle of your favorite wine but you're not allowed to give it to me without telling me why you love it so much and what you think it goes best with because um, hopefully this year we're going to be finishing off the rest of the house and I hope to have a little bit of space to maybe file my wine a little bit better because as you know over the years I've got quite into it thanks to my best friend and I love trying different wines I love experiencing it I love wine cellars I like going and experiencing those as well so and um, that's been lovely and yeah so we just got so many well I know that I um, have got so many lovely gifts this year and in all honesty it really really perked me up which was so nice I, I think that this is one of the one of those Christmases that I didn't like I just wasn't ready for it it was so bizarre usually I'm like there live and kicking for for Christmas but there was just so much going on that I was a bit sort of on the back foot with it and so spending Christmas morning and obviously Christmas is not about the gifts but um, it's a lovely opportunity to gift things to other people and let them know that you like they mean stuff to you and let them know how much they mean to you as well and thoughtful little gifts and things like that and I truly feel like I got um, so many lovely pieces this year. That is the end of my what I got for Christmas uh, video this year. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll try and link whatever I can in the description box down below um, but for the most part I am going to enjoy playing with these now because they've sat in boxes for god knows how long and I've actually not not got a chance to use any of them because I've been saving them for you. <laughs> I'd love to know your favourite gift that you received this Christmas in the uh, comments down below because um, I would sit and watch all of your videos about what you got for Christmas as well so let me know what you got in the comments down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Happy 2023!